Hi everyone and welcome to the Summer 2021 Discovery to Cure program. My name is Sanjana and I go to the International Academy Central in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. And I'm Mariska and I go to Troy High School in Troy, Michigan. We've been working together in Dr. Zhang's lab for the past eight weeks. One really cool thing about the Discovery to Cure program is that you get to work in a lab in the CS Mott Center for eight full weeks for no cost at all. And you get to learn a lot of useful lab techniques such as isolating plasmids, western blots, and PCR that you'll see later in this video. Now we're going to start isolating our plasmids. Here we are combining different buffers with our bacteria to isolate the plasmid DNA. Later on, we will digest these plasmids to run a gel to see if the plasmids have the correct insert. If they do, we can use these plasmids for a number of things, such as gel extraction, ligation, and sequencing. Now we're going to go image our gel, and while we do so, we're going to pass it off to Maddie and Claire. Hi everyone, my name is Maddie and I'm from Regina High School. Hi, my name is Claire and I'm from Troy High. And we're working here together in Dr. Condon's lab. So one fact about the program is that there's Wednesday lectures and we get to bond and spend time together. And you get to learn a lot about the PhD and MD programs. This clip is showing the last few steps of Western blood. So at this point, our membranes are prepared so that when we add chemiluminescence, the chemiluminescence will only bind to antibodies that are attached to the protein of interest. So this clip shows us getting the chemiluminescence ready and also applying the chemiluminescence to the membranes. Now we're going to develop our western blot. But first let's go and see what Harini and Layla are doing. Hi, I'm Layla and I go to Northville High School. Hi, I'm Harini and I go to Troy High School. Um, a fun fact about the program is that we get to work one-on-one -on -one with our professors and our mentors and it's really beneficial we get to, because we get to learn more about what they're uh, studying and what they're researching at. Um, now we're going to show you guys a time lapse of us uh, loading our extracted RNA into our acros gel. In this clip, we are loading our samples into our agrose gel wells, um, getting ready to run it. And then eventually, once we run it, we can then put the agrose gel into a gel documentation machine to look at the bands that we have of RNA. done loading our gel, we're going to head up to Laura and Val's lab to see what they're up to. <laughs> Let's go! Hi everyone, I'm Laura. I'm a rising senior at the International Academy East. Hi, I'm Val. I go to Parkway Christian. Discovery to Cure has not only solidified my interest in the medical field of work, but it has also given me the inspiration to further study obstetrics and gynecology. As my first experience in research, Discovery to Cure has definitely given me a lot of knowledge about biomedical research and has definitely inspired me to go into the field of medicine in the new future. Here, for our experiment, Bao and I are loading our qPCR plate with our DNA samples and primers to determine the expression of certain genes. <laughs> 